Today I'm going to show you how to make a Roland TB303 acid baseline from scratch using just the stock plugins in Ableton Live. You can download the patch and the rest of the track completely free below this video and without further ado let's hop into the door and get it done. It's the Roland TB303 bass machine that I'm going to be replicating. Classic techno acid sound and this is something that Charlotte DeWitt, is that how you pronounce her name? She uses this sound and you know loads of techno artists do. So let's get a little riff on the go. I'm going to use the analog synth in Ableton in the nature of doing everything with stock plugins and let's have a look at what is going on. So the 303, the TB303, they are very expensive now but they are monophonic synths so the first thing I need to do is turn it to mono and before I tweak with the sound let's just let's just get the rhythm and the melody written down. So if we remember when we looked at the kick, we see the fundamental frequency was about A, basically. I think it was about 53 hertz, was it? Let's have another look. Yeah, so it's about, if you look, it's got the hertz and then underneath the actual note on the keyboard that it is. So 54 hertz is A. So I'm going to write this little riff in the key of A. So it all sounds nice and in tune. Well, is it in tune as you'd want industrial techno to sound? I'm just gonna do a little simple riff. And I want it to sound kind of minor because techno is often in a minor key. Cool, okay. I know it's not great, but it'll serve for the purposes of this tutorial. And I'm just gonna loop that. And now let's work on this sound. So what I'm gonna do is, firstly I'm gonna reduce the uh, did I, uh, the sorry release haven't had my coffee yet oh I should get one and the sustain and the decay I want to be it's to be staccato and I'm gonna turn the glide on that is a classic part of the 303 sound so you can hear it sweep between the notes Turn the resonance up, frequency down. You should start to recognize that sound now. But that doesn't sound nearly filthy enough, am I right? If so, give me a hell yeah in the comments below. Actually, don't give me a hell yeah. Give me an amen. All right, okay, let's get a lovely bit of distortion on there. So I'm gonna use the, yeah, okay. I'm going to use the overdrive because again, all stock plugins. So let's do it. I'm just going to drive this and get it sounding absolutely filthy. Turn it down a bit. Nice. Okay, let's get a delay on there. With ping pong. Turn the feedback down, otherwise it's going to go cray cray. Check it in mono. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out and click the notification bell if you never want to miss a video on how to improve your electronic dance music production. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers and happy producing.